As Theon strode into manhood, his teachings spread like wildfire across the breadth of Nathralis. In a tidal wave of populist fervor, he swept aside the petty despots, their thrones crumbling beneath the onslaught of his devoted followers, baptized in the faith of the Monai and commanding the unyielding might of his scions. With the planet united under his banner, he ascended to the throne as Paternus Rex Ultima, the ultimate ruler of a realm ablaze with the fervor of the Theonic faith. With Nathralis firmly in his grasp, Paternus Rex Ultima set his sights on the broader system, his heart aflame with the desire to bring peace and virtue to the tumultuous expanse of the Inner Realm. As foretold in the sayings of the Monai, he dreamed of a day when slumbering Idoloths would arise anew, ushering an age of unparalleled splendor and prosperity. From planet to planet, Paternus Rex traveled, bearing the teachings of the Monai. Some welcomed him with open arms, captivated by his glory while others yielded begrudgingly, swayed by promises of economic prosperity. Yet there were those who dared to defy him. Their resistance met with the iron fist of his scions, their once mighty world crushers brought low by the unstoppable onslaught of his mag fighters. In the heat of battle, Paternus Rex led his scions with a ferocity unmatched, his enemies falling like wheat before the scythe. To those who bowed before him, he offered mercy and generosity, but to those who dared to stand against him, he meted out swift and merciless retribution, laying waste to their cities with apocalyptic fury until none dared oppose his will. With the galaxy united under his rule, Paternus Rex sought to ensure its lasting peace and prosperity. Thus he took to himself wives from each of the nine ruling families of the Usamat, siring nine sons. Each raised the traditions of their native planets and schooled in the ways of their father. As each son came of age, he was crowned Terrathane Paternus, marking the culmination of a grand reunion that echoed throughout the Inan Realm. On the glorious day of eternal reunion, the final son ascended to his rightful place, marking a joyous celebration that echoed throughout the Inan Realm, heralding the dawn of a new era of unity. For the next two centuries, Paternus Rex Ultima reigned from his seat of power in Nathralis, overseeing the reconstruction of the shadowed worlds. Under his watchful gaze, a new economic order emerged, guided by the Royal Trade Syndicate, ensuring fair labor practices and just compensation for all. With a stroke of his pen, he erased the sins of old replacing them with systems built upon principles of nobility and justice. Though he fathered no more children after his nine sons, Paternus Rex Ultima remained steadfastly loyal to his nine wives, who stood by his side in the opulent halls of his palace on the Thralis. Despite their Usumat heritage, both he and his sons defied the passage of time outliving even their spouses. From the loins of his son sprang forth a new generation, their royal courts and houses teeming with hundreds of offspring, each steeped in the customs and traditions of their home worlds. Under the banner of the Theonic faith and the teachings of the Monai, the galaxy flourished, basking in the radiance of a golden age like never before seen and never seen again.